Well, this is the old fort. This is the building that's now the visitor center. And across the street are the parade grounds. The reason I know this, we stopped and asked the guy there uh, taking care of the trash, and he was a wealth of information. They should be doing the tours. And this really was the bachelor's headquarters. Yeah, that guy knew what he was talking about. Fort Yellowstone National Historic Landmark. In the eight, late 1800s. So these houses were uh, were included too. This guy's had it pretty good. So the cavalry barracks, then all the officers' quarters. The captain was right here, I guess. That's pretty cool. Looks military. We started out day three touring the uh, Yellowstone Park headquarters at Mammoth Hot Springs, which is right next to our campground at Mammoth Hot Springs. We then toured the Hot Springs, drove through Lamar Valley seeing all kinds of wildlife, and since the road was closed for the season to complete the loop, we decided to exit the park at the northeast entrance and re-enter the park at the east entrance. This is the Mammoth Hot Spring, right by the park uh, administrative headquarters in the northern area of the park. See the springs running down over the... Well, it looks like ice. <laughs> Parts of it. Steam coming off the top. And there go our ranger buddies on horses. We saw them a minute ago. This guy's the Liberty Cap. And in the background there is the park headquarters. down the middle I can get by these guys. Man, there's a herd of them. It's their herd. There's a sandhill crane over there too, squawking. Hear it? Bunch of new calves. Just barely got by, got by a couple of them on the road. Zoomed out all the way. Should have brought a bigger lens. This other one, see if he's, if he decides to go with the rest of the herd. Oh, oh, what? oh these are some young boys, young bucks. Okay. 
you had to right away. Thank you very much. Okay. Coming to the end of the, the, the what was the, what valley was this? Lamar. Lamar Valley. And they are everywhere out here. Pronghorn, buffalo, and scenic. Oh, and, and a badger. Idiot standing out in the middle of the road filming a badger. <laughs> that was that was interesting. The Lamar Valley is definitely the place to see wildlife in Yellowstone. They were everywhere. We exited the park and took the scenic drive through Wyoming to Cody, stopped for lunch and supplies, and then re-entered the park at the east entrance, seeing yet again a whole new aspect of the park. Just outside of uh, Cody, Wyoming, coming up on Cody, Wyoming, outside of the park. It's the Clark's Fork Canyon. Getting up and down that's fun. <laughs> Cody, Wyoming. Just stopped here uh, for lunch before entering, going back into the park and had uh, uh, prime rib lunch. Prime rib, they called it a prime rib sandwich. It was a nice piece of meat. Very good. Uh, made it back to the east gate of the uh, Yellowstone. Travel back up to the campground. Well, coming in the east entrance is a whole nother environment altogether. Back up in the snow. Been climbing since we uh, checked in. Sylvan Pass, elevation 8530. We saw a lot of fire damage on the east side of the park on our way back to Mammoth Campground. We really enjoyed our three days in Yellowstone, but we still had a surprise in store for us. Amanda just spotted this guy, or this gal, right outside our door. You think that's the one with the fawn? It oh, may be. She heard I don't me. Know. Yellowstone is just amazing with this kind of stuff, isn't it? Crossing in front of us. And it was peeking in the bedroom you off the window at me. It was. We go from this one to this one. <laughs> Not why you know the fawn's got to be around here somewhere. Somewhere close. Or a calf? What do, what do they call a baby calf? calf? They said we see wildlife. There's that magpie bird. Right there. Oh yeah, there's the magpie. 